Hello and welcome to WMT Reviews, I am Wiseman Tanofsky, and today we're moving away from Transformers back to the basics, we're back to Doctor Who for a bit, with this chap right here. And this would be the Doctor Who 5-inch Cyber Controller. Now we'll get the fluff out of the way nice and quickly. The cyber controller in this continuity was a Mr. John Lumick, the head of Cybus Industries, who was, you know, quite severely disabled and dying. And so he created a race of metal men, hoping to eradicate pain once and for all before being transformed into their leader. Now, as you see here, the Cyber Controller's body mould is much the same as other Cybermen, with the addition of these ports, which we'll get to later, and also in the head mould. There's a large area of clear plastic at the top, through which can be viewed his brain. And I love that. Fantastic little detail there. Now, posability-wise, the head can go round and round and up and down a little bit, the arms go out and all the way round, there's a bend at the elbow, the wrists do swivel all the way round. Now there's an outwards joint at the hip, and also forwards and backwards, but very restricted from this section here. They bend at the knee, that doesn't quite go all the way to 45 degrees, but they're there. And then the foot is on a slightly poseable bit here. Now, the Cyber Controller figure is very nicely detailed. You've got some lovely ink work done across the chest here, and the details are brought out fantastically all over him. You know, even in these sections here between the main armour with the wires and whatnot. It's really a nice bit of paintwork, better than some Cybermen out there. And what's rather special about this figure is he comes with somewhat of an accessory that is very difficult to get hold of these days. And here we have the Cyber Controller sat upon his Cyber Control throne, really. And obviously, fans of the show will recognise this as the sort of very steampunky wheelchair that was built for John Lumick, who for some reason needed a throne. Uh, I don't really know why, probably just to s you know, symbolise how in charge he was. Uh, the detailing on the throne is lacking somewhat, but it does what it has to. Um, one thing I don't like are these cables at all, because they're supposed to plug into these ports that I mentioned earlier and give him, make him look like he's plugged in. So you see here he's completely plugged in to the throne and I can't help but feel that it just looks kind of silly, really. You know, I think the wires are too thick, um, they're not poseable, they just sort of flop and it just looks silly, really, so I never really have him plugged in, but yeah, that's what they're for. I just sort of force them behind the back here, and just try and pretend they're not there. But yes, he does sit on the throne, and he does look very cool on it too. Let me bring the thing round the back here, and see, it's mostly just wiring and detail for the sake of detail, and then this plain silverness here. Overall, it's a really nice figure, and it did come with two flanking Cybermen, um, but because I picked this up from a comic and sci-fi weekend from a previous owner, um, I believe he said that the Cybermen that stood on the sides were sort of sun-bleached over time and were kind of ruined, and he repainted them silver with incredibly sticky silver paint. And they're still sticky. Very sticky. So I've come up with my own solution. Just use different Cybermen. That's really my solution, just use different Cybermen. I wish I had another one like this. This armour is much nicer. But anyway, on the Orsometer, um, I can only really take away a couple of points for this thing because of the useless wires, lack of detail here and there. So that makes it about a 7 on the Orsometer. I've been Wise Manzanowski, this has been WMT Reviews, thank you very much for watching.